Okay, hi everybody. Um, I'm going to try and remember to talk a little bit louder this time around. I know it was probably hard to hear me in the first video, but um, we're going to do the first uh, makeup video here. So what I'm going to do is a purple smoky eye. Um, what I'm going to use is my flat shadow brush. This is one by Smashbox. You can see how it's flat. Um, this is the one that you're going to use to apply your base shadow. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to go on my entire lid uh, with a brown, just kind of flesh toned. This is kind of weird. Uh, I'm going to get used to this. But I'm going to go just on my lid, a little bit above, not too much. This is kind of hard to do. This shadow is one by Prescriptives. Um, it's called Bean, like a vanilla bean. But they went out of business, and I'm very sad about that because I really like their cosmetics. And my favorite lipstick comes from there. But anyways, okay. So for time purposes, I'm just going to do one eye, and I'll finish the other one off camera. But just so you guys can see. Okay, see? So I did... Just the whole lid, dark shadow, brown. Um, I'm going to go back in with this one. This is a tapered brush, also by Smashbox. You can see how it's kind of rounded at the edge. This one is good for contouring. So I'm going to take a little bit of this purple shadow. This one's also um, by Prescriptive. It's called Twilight. Um, also discontinued, but you know, any purple shadow will do. Um, this one's kind of a muted purple, but anyways, I'm going to go with this brush and I'm going to kind of go from, from the bottom of my lash line, kind of in a little V, and into my um, crease there. You can kind of see how it kind of gives it that little effect of being smoked out with your shading. I'm gonna go in a circle a little bit. It's kind of like painting. Um, you know how you do the background first and then you shade shadow with a darker color? Well, that's what I'm doing. Okay. And kind of blend it. You wanna just do a little bit at a time. And if you feel like you want more, it's kind of hard to see. This camera sucks, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm working on getting a better one. Um, So now that I have the contour, I'm going to kind of get a little closer. Sorry, I probably need an eyebrow wax. Um, you can kind of see how just the edge is smoky. So then um, I'm going to go in with a highlight, and I forgot to grab one. Sorry, this is bad form. Um, the one that I'm going to use is actually out of a Sephora palette. looks like this. And uh, this is actually a Christmas present that I kept. I know that's really bad, but um, it's the last one, and I really wanted to have one, so <laughs> I got her something different. Casey, I love you. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna contour, or not contour. Sorry, highlight. Highlighting, you're kind of bridging the gap in between um, those two shadows, so that it looks a little bit blended. So I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna do a really soft pink. Um, it's this one right here. You can't really see color, but that's okay. Um, you know what pink looks like. So I'm going to go with this really fluffy brush and I'm going to kind of just kind of buff it in there to soften out a harsher edge from the purple. And
And this is just something really subtle. It's not too smoky, so I guess calling it a smoky eye was a little bit deceiving. But, um... It's actually really weird to do on camera. Everything's backwards. Um, and I'm going to finish off with a little bit of this purpley shimmer stuff. This is actually by L'Oreal. This is one of my favorite things ever. And I'm going to go back in with that same brush, this fluffy one, also by Smashbox, thanks to Ulta. Um, and I'm going to kind of just dust it all over to give a little bit of shimmer. And there you have it. I'm going to finish with an eyeliner. I'm going to do a black one. Um, and again, I'm only doing one eye as far as time purposes go. And when I do this, I'm going to hold my pencil kind of on an angle. You can see a little bit right there how um, it fans out a little bit. You can get that by pulling your, your eyelid. I'm going to kind of do... This is so weird. All the way over. And then I like to do just my corner because it um, makes the eye appear wider. And that's it. So again, only doing one eye for time. I'm going to finish the other one off camera, but hope you guys like it. Again, this is uh, the first time that I'm actually doing makeup on a video, so it's a little strange for me. I hope you can see that. Kind of, not really. Well, you can see a difference from this one to that one. Um, I hope you guys like it. Like I said, I'm still learning. Gotta get comfortable with this backward stuff, so... Feedback is nice, so definitely tell me what you guys think. Okay. Signing off. Bye.